I get to head off to work. And I work at a hospital because I'm trying to be a registered dietitian one day. So this is really good clinical experience. So if that is your major and you're trying to become a RD, highly recommend working at a hospital. And yeah, so I'm going to go do that. And I'll see you guys later. Okay, so today I am bringing... Here, let me... I'll open them for you. Sorry, it's on the floor. Okay, so I have these little buffalo chicken fake lettuce wrap taco things. And so it's just chicken with um, buffalo wing sauce because it has zero calories and some of this fat-free ranch that'll focus. And then I have a Greek salad in here so it has hummus, pepperoncinis, feta, tomato, cucumber, olives, and chicken. And then there's spinach underneath it. And I'm not going to open it just because it's, it's so full. But So that's a good source of fat, proteins, and micronutrients. And then in this little guy, oh gosh, I have sweet potatoes and chicken. Um, sweet potatoes were cooked without oil. There's just cinnamon on them and that's it. And then the chicken, and that has some of the Garlic Lovers Flavor God seasoning on it because it's my favorite. So there's everything that we're gonna grab out of the fridge. And then I just have these um, buffalo wing flavored pretzel chips because I am the absolute worst at hitting my carbs and I don't know why. But so these are little meals that I'm gonna bring today with me because um, like you saw, I was up pretty early and then I have class until seven-ish at night. I have a little bit of a break, but I'm basically gonna be at school all day. So it's super useful to pack this stuff so that I don't starve to death and so that I hit um, all of my little goals. I'm gonna fill this up with um, my little greens powder so I can take it with me. This is the one that I'm using right now. The holiday flavors of this are the absolute best and so I stock up on them every single year because I love them more than the other ones. So yeah, and then I'm gonna fill up my water bottle and then we basically just gotta run because we have class. spring weather for the past like week ish probably longer than that and I'm just forgetting but so it's it's been very springish and so like you could wear shorts outside and now it's snowing so we have to wear snow boots so we don't die because otherwise we'll waddle, waddle around like a little penguin oh camera don't leave okay so I just got back from class all day and everything was good. And I don't know if I already said this, but I am 18 weeks out. All right, let me check. Yes, I was 18 weeks out on Saturday and it is Monday. And so yeah, so I wanna talk kind of just a little bit about my prep and everything. So I think all in all, it will be a total of like a 20 week prep collectively. Um, and I've been in an off season for a really long time. So like I'll put a little picture of little me at my first competition like right here or something um but i did my first bikini competition when i was 17 at the governor's cup in sacramento um and that was really fun it was a really good experience but my the way that i prepped for that show was not healthy or optimal like there were a lot of things that weren't very good about that prep since then, I've been in an off season. So that was in 2016 when I did my show, my first show. And then, so now it's 2018, I'm 19, and I am going to do, try to do the Nevada State in June. And the reason I say try is because like my body's been responding kind of weird. And so I'm actually in like a pretty decent deficit right now. So we just have to see 
um, like how my body responds to it and like it'll be pretty dynamic and so if my body doesn't respond which I'm pretty sure everything will be fine but let's just say that it doesn't respond then I'm not gonna do the show and I'm gonna back out and so that's kind of like the topic that I want to talk about right here real quick is that there is a time and this is with basically all things in life but I'm directly talking about competing there is a time to push and there is a time to pull back and rest, definitely. Especially if you want longevity. I like. I firmly believe that. I mean, I, I know I've only done one show, but I've seen so many people and they just push, 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 and then they run themselves so far into the ground that it like takes them forever to recover. And taking an off season doesn't mean that you're quitting. It doesn't mean that you're lazy in any way. Like I th honestly think that an off season is like 20 times harder than an actual prep because you have to get comfortable with the idea of gaining body fat and you have to intentionally eat like you, you, you know, in order to have the most optimal off season, it's not like you just free for all it all the time. Um, like you're still eating with intention, but sometimes you have to eat more food than you're used to. And that itself is uncomfortable when you don't necessarily want to eat, but you need to build up your metabolic capacity and all that stuff. So, you know, like it's okay to back out of a show and it's okay to take a break. I don't want to just step on the stage just to say that I compete. You know, I want to compete with the intent of being competitive. And if you take the time to actually build, you know, a solid foundation, then when you chisel all that away, like you'll be proud of what, you'll be proud of what you've built. And so that's really important. Don't just jump into it. Definitely think it's important to keep perspective as far as that goes. So they, I don't know if you guys knew this, but they have a Carbmaster cottage cheese. And I was really concerned. I was really like hesitant about it because I thought it would taste really weird and gross. But they have a cinnamon raisin one and it is so good. I was so surprised and impressed. So if you guys like cinnamon raisin things, it's delicious. It is way better. I thought it was gonna be nasty because um, I got the peach one and then the cinnamon raisin one and I thought the peach one was gonna be by far the best but oh my gosh cinnamon raisin one is so good so if you have Kroger and you like cottage cheese I would definitely recommend trying those because I was really impressed so there's that so I hope you guys all have a great day and I'm gonna do some recovery stuff because it's Monday so yeah see you